Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this problem we have a direct variation as x and inverse variation as square of z. So in fact we're going to combine these two variations, inverse variation and direct variation in one problem. And let's write this equation and by the way we're going to use only this method, just combine them. And we're going to write the equation that models this problem. Y varies directly as x. So that is this part. And inversely as square of z. And that is the second part. So this is the equation that models the problem. And now we can go to uh, the problem we have here, find y when x equals 16 and z equals 2. But we're going to start with the last part because using the last part of the problem will allow us to find k. So that one says uh, y is 45. k is the guy we need to find out when x is 81. And z is 3. So in this case here, we need to solve for k. But first, I think we can simplify here, right? Because we have 45 equals k times 81 over 9. 9 goes in 81 9 times. So we end up with a simpler equation. 9k equals 45. And we divide by 9, and 45 divided by 9 is 5. So that is the constant, k equals 5. So now we're going to go to the second part of the problem, where we're going to replace k with 5 first. And this is the equation that model our problem. Now we know the k, and we're going to use the first part which says find y when x equals 16 and z equals 2. So we're going to write y equals 5 times x is 16 and z is 2, 2 squared. And again here we can simplify first. 5 times 16 over 4. 4 goes in 16 4 times. So we're going to have y equals 5 times 4. 5 times 4, which is giving us y equals 20. And that's the answer for our problem. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.